speaking of Connie Mack, the congressman now the subject of a House ethics complaint, it all centers around a story that NBC2 first broke back in May. Mack's office sent out thousands of flyers across the state on taxpayers' dime. Well, today, NBC2 chief political correspondent Chad Oliver talked to the man filing the complaint. Kelly. Hey, Kelly, yeah, these legislative updates were only supposed to go out to people in Max congressional district here in southwest Florida. A printing company owned up to the mistake and reimbursed the U.S. government, but one Broward County man considers that an illegal campaign donation and wants Mac to pay up. The flyer explains Connie Mac's penny plan to balance the budget. It looks like they want me to vote for somebody. Definitely it's a campaign fly. Throw away ad. Connie Mac's critics say it's a backdoor tactic from a candidate running for a statewide office. Nearly 60,000 of these mailings went outside Mac's district. Mac's printing company admitted using the wrong mailing list. It reimbursed the U.S. Treasury for nearly $18,000. Now a Broward County blogger wants Connie Mac's campaign to pay for the mistake. Man up, you got a lot of money to your name um, and maybe saw a couple of your grandfather's baseballs on eBay or something. Raise a few extra dollars and, 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 and straighten up. Chaz Stevens sent this letter to the House Ethics Committee insisting Mac received a free in-kind benefit. Some are registered Republicans, so so if you think that, well, well, Chad Stevens is just going after Mac because he's got an R after his name, well, look at my voter's card. I have an R after my name, so uh, I just think that wrong is wrong. But the commission, which approves these legislative mailings, sees nothing wrong. They accepted Mac's honest mistake explanation. This afternoon, I reached out to Connie Mac's spokesperson. David James says they consider this a closed matter. And in terms of the political blogger behind this uh, ethics filing, James says he is someone who routinely files these complaints and is simply looking for attention.